Hi, my name is Vaughny coming at you again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over uh, the trick I use to get a near perfect green screen. So, the, my lion isn't great in this room. Um, my green screen behind me isn't lit very well. I don't have any bat lighting on it or anything like that. So, I use a little trick to actually kind of hack and tweak uh, the colors of the green screen i'm going to get into that right now to get you like a near perfect green screen again i'm going to assume you have basic knowledge of obs i'm not going to get into adding scenes or sources of cameras like that i'm just going to go over that very quickly if you need to know any of that stuff uh, there's tons of tutorials out there on youtube to figure out the basics of obs so go ahead and do that before you come into this tutorial so here you have my screen and what I see right now. We have in the scenes, we have main, screen main and cam one. So main is the scene that you just saw before. Screen is what you see now and cam one is a separate scene that I have with my camera within that. And then I add that scene within other scenes. I'll explain why I do that later, but that is very important for this tutorial. I usually have a bunch of other scenes here for my stream, but I cut this down to the bare bones so it doesn't confuse you guys. So what I am going to do is I am going to actually turn my camera off for this next bit and I'm going to go into studio mode uh, to basically sh click around these scenes so I don't actually change my scene and I could just show you guys what I do. So I'm going to do that now. So cam one is going off. I'm going to go into studio mode. So ignore this right hand part here. You want to be focusing on the left hand part. I'm using this literally just to show you guys uh what i'm actually doing within these scenes without actually changing the live scene itself so let's go into cam one and see what's going down so in the scene camera one i have my camera the a5100 so we want to be adding a scene first add cam one call it camera source call it camera main or whatever but this is going to be your main camera scene which you put within other scenes and that's very important and I'm going to get into why that's important. So once we've got our scene set up, you want to go into that cam one scene, right click, add the sources and add a video capture device within that scene. So whether it be a webcam or a DSLR that you guys use, um, it actually works out better for you people to use um, lower quality webcams because this tutorial actually might be good for you because you can't really get the lighting right i've had it before and lower quality webcams where i just can't get the green screen correct it's not working properly and what i do as an extra little bonus tip is i've got this green screen which is basically just an image that i've added so right click add image which is just a green screen image which you can pull from google or you can make it yourself in photoshop but this is going to help us really nail that green screen effect uh well and i'll show you why later so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn all my effects off on my camera on my scenes and i'm going to just go bare bones what i do to set up my green screen so here we are this is the raw video feed coming from my camera you can see the green screen here is not well lit you can see it's kind of dark in the corners and you'll really see that when i add the chroma key in a minute so we want to be adding a green screen, right? So let's add a green screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your camera. You're going to right click around filters. Then in your filters, you want to be adding first a color correction. Now right click, add color correction. And then after that, you want to be adding the chroma key. Boom, add chroma key. So there we go. Now I've added the chroma key. The defaults are okay, but as you can see in these corners, they're dark and the chroma key isn't uh, bringing out very well. Remember that green screen background I was talking about earlier? Boom. This is why this green screen, I just have this to make sure my chroma key is working. This actually brings it out a lot more and you can see the areas that I need to really work on. My top areas lit quite well, the bottom areas where it's the darkest in the corners are not so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into color correction first and we're gonna change the saturation and the gamma so let's start bumping up the saturation as you can see the chroma keys what we are doing we're making the green screen behind us we're bumping up the saturation to make it more green so that affects the green screen behind us and that affects the way the chroma key works so don't worry about blowing this out right now don't worry about blowing your face out we're going to adjust later and i'll show you how so we're going to do this again don't worry about the chroma key as well we're going to affect that in a minute as you can see it's on my hat so we're going to just we're just going to get these focus on these corner areas and we're going to play with the gamma as well so let's bring the gamma up right 
So once we've done that, we'll go back to chroma key. Now, good number for me in the similarity part is 380. I know that 350, 360 is good number for me. So I'm gonna affect the smoothness and I prefer the more jagged edges. Uh, so I'm gonna put that down to 30. I don't want the smoothness going up too high. I like it around there. For me, I know a good number is 360, 30. So once we've done that, let's go back to color correction. You need to just keep fiddling with these numbers. So as you can see, I'm not blowing my hair anymore. I'm just focusing on these corners, bushing the saturation up. Don't worry about blowing your face out. Don't worry about the color of it right now. We're gonna correct that in a minute. Saturation, turn the gamma up slightly a bit more. And now we have a good chroma key. We're just focusing on the background here. Beautiful, brilliant. But the problem is our face is now blown out. So we're gonna stick around there. I'm gonna probably tweak that saturation. We're good. So let's close this now. So as you can see that green screen, we can turn that off now. My face doesn't look great. So now what you wanna be doing, we're gonna go over to our camera scene. So camera, whatever you've added, camera source, camera, whatever, we're gonna go over to our camera scene. We're gonna right click the camera scene. Remember, don't click the sources, right click the scene and add a filter on there. So in the minute we've got no filters. What you wanna be doing is adding a color correction to this scene. So what you're doing is you're affecting the scene and not the source. So our source is already sorted. We sorted the green screen, it looks good. Now we're gonna focus on what we actually look like because you can change this and it doesn't affect the green screen behind you. This is the beauty of having a camera source within this scene here because now you can affect the camera but not affect your chroma key at all. So this is where, what I was mentioning before, we're gonna scale it back. So the saturation, we're a little bit blown out. So I can now affect the color of myself without affecting the green screen. So we're gonna pull the saturation back. About there, that looks cool. And we're gonna also mess with the gamma. What I like to do as well is mess with the contrast. So that's, I love like bumping the contrast up a little bit just to get those darker blacks, those deeper blacks. And then the gamma's good as well about there i like that and maybe turn my saturation my face a little bit down so i don't look orange okay i'm pretty happy with that so again we've not affected the green screen in fact if we turn that back on this layer that we have just to make sure everything's cool we're not clipping through absolutely beautiful so once you've got your background that you want to add your camera into instead of adding a source a video capture device you're actually now going to add a scene which is your cam scene, which you just made. Boom. And now you can actually, as well, bonus tip, you can now actually add this scene into any other scene without affecting your camera source. So it's all in one place. If you want to affect your camera, it's all here. And you can add that scene within other scenes as a camera now. And that's the beauty of doing it. And there you have it, guys. That's how I do my green screen. Um, if you enjoyed the content, come over to twitch.tv forward slash Vorny. Say hello. Ask me any questions you want. Look at the content you're missing out on right now. Also, I have Discord link down below as well, as well as my Twitter. If you want to ask me any questions, feel free to contact me on those. And also my stream, like I said, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I'm going to do more tutorials in the future. I'm really enjoying these. Until then, peace!